what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here on the new video guys. Today I'm excited. We're making a new video guys. This video is to say reporter gay LGBTQ community in, in Uganda is requesting to meet you President Museveni. Pardon me, um, Ugandans if I didn't pronounce his name properly, please I'm sorry. Um, hilarious Q and A. This is gonna be my first time checking this out. And we would love to give this a try with you guys. You know how to do it. We'll talk less about it. Yes, more. Let's get into this video. President Zane Virgi, CNN, the West. <laughs> they do make it an issue. Uh, they have been making it an issue for uh, many months now. Many in the international community are saying that by your signing of this bill, you're taking Uganda a step backwards. That you are not protecting the freedoms and the rights and the choices of the Ugandan mm. people. So how do you respond to that? And specifically, uh, President Obama has said he, been, his, he was deeply disappointed by Uganda's move and says that it would complicate US-Uganda relations. I've listened to everything uh, that you've said in the statement. So how would you respond to that? And do, 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 does it worry you? And have you spoken directly to President Obama about this? Well, we have been disappointed for a long time <laughs> by the conduct of the West, the way you conduct yourselves there. But we just keep quiet. We just see how you do things, how the, the families, how they are organized, the, in all these things. We see them, we keep quiet. We never comment because it's not our country. Maybe you like it. So, uh, since there is now an attempt at social imperialism, to, to impose social values of, of one group on our society, uh, then our disappointment is now exacerbated because we, we, are, we are sorry to see that you live the way you live. But we keep quiet about it. Now you say we must also live like us. Uh, we, 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 that's why we say no. We, we say no. And uh, am I worried? Not at all. We should be worried about what? Because to tango needs two people to dance. If the West doesn't want to work with us because of homosexuals, then uh, we, we have enough space here to live by ourselves and do business with other people. <laughs> Yes, Dick, and then we go to Catherine Gerhard. There, there is Bayrunga. I want to hear Bayrunga. Catherine, you can come forward. Um, your Excellency, you talk when, about... when will your BBC pronounce your name well, please? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, your Excellency, you talked about the scientific report that was presented to you by these scientists in front of us. Mm. They didn't say that homosexuality was abnormal. They said there were a, a range of uh, reasons why somebody could be homosexual. There are genetic reasons as well. So you can't dismiss that somebody could be born homosexual. So isn't this just a political bill? It's nothing to do with science. No, the report says, first of all, you know that many of our homosexuals are actually mercenaries. They are, they are, they are heterosexual people who just become homosexual just because of money. They are prostitutes. Prostitute. Well, how do we prove that? Is there no, no, no. That? Let's first... That is the biggest category here. These are prostitutes for money. They are normal people. They, they are just recruited because of economic hardships. They go into that. Now, the other smaller category which I was defending, their conclusion is there is no single example of a pure uh, uh, nature-driven nature homosexual. 
Yes, there could be some association. Some of those studies showed that there could be some association with the, with the genetics. But the, the people who, who grew up in certain environments are the ones who eventually became homosexuals. Why the same identical twins, the, the, the children of, 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 from the same egg, from the same ovary, same ovum, ovum, uh, what they call monozygotic twins. It's really a smart one. Identical twins in our normal life. Uh, you find one is, the other one is not. And, and when the, that study they made, they found it was the environment which triggered this fellow to go that way. So therefore, th there are differences that nature without nature, you cannot get a homosexual. That's what mm. they are saying. Yeah. That nature without nature, you cannot get a homosexual. So why don't we remove this nature? The society removes this nature. Instead of, of the way the Western societies are presenting it, that there are two options. This is like a menu. You go to a hotel, you can choose. Either this or that. Just make it fast, it's true. You, you know? Our people are, and by the way, those people, the, the Western people you are talking about, because I pinned them down, I said, you put it, you put your signature on this. They couldn't. I don't want to quote names because this was in confidence. One of them, just the other night, before, just the other night, I was on the phone with one of my, my people in the West, my friends in the West. The person said, there is no repeatable scientist who can put his signature to the opinion that nature is the one which causes homosexuality. That's what somebody told me on the phone. But it's a matter of choice. Now they are shifting. I, I think this is very, very important. Uganda, as usual, may really trigger a, a very serious uh, movement in the world. Uh, because now, we now know that the natural part is a minority. The majority is the, the nature, the upbringing. You know, I'm not somebody who just follows things. Even these MPs, I was going to, if these people had, had said it was nature, I would never have agreed with these, the bishops and all that. That's not my, my, my issue. Because you remember Jesus was killed by bishops. <laughs> so so I, I don't listen to, to those groups. Bishop, I don't know what. Because God gave me my head, I, I am mobile with it all the time. It's I don't know any of those people. You, you remember who you killed Jesus? You guys are lucky. The archbishop called, called Kayafa. Kayafa is the one who killed Jesus. So I, I, I do not listen to those, those groups. Yes, if, if, if they go with our core issues, we, we go with them, but we, I, I, I can't be guided by those groups. So it's now our logic, our logic. Huh. And we have taken time, we have studied it, this is our conclusion. Thank you. Yes, can we have Dick and then the other lady? Uh, my name is Leila, I correspond for Docheveli Kiswahili Service. First question. The gay community in Uganda is requesting to have a meeting with you. Would you give them an ear? In the, regard the homosexuals in Uganda, they are requesting to have <laughs> audience with you. <laughs> yeah. So they say, no, hold on. <laughs> no, they say their side of the story has not been heard and they would kindly beg to meet you so that you get to hear that side of the story. That's number one. And then number two, for the sake of my audience in Kiswahili, Ninge Kuomba Tafadali utueleze kwa Kiswahili ni kwa nini umetia saini mkataba wa leo na mchu za magaribi zimekuwa zikikuwa Homosexual wanawetaji kwa Kiswahili Mashoga Mashoga Ndiyo ulivyo wanawaita Eh mashoga Mashoga Na moja Shoga Moja ni shoga Singular shoga Plural mashoga Mashoga Yeah Aha utueleze 
inji za magharibi zimekuwa zikisema kuwa ukitia saini mkataba wa mashoga basi uenda uhusiano wenu kakuwa mgumu unalipi la kusema kuhusu hilo pia tamko la Obama amesema kuwa Uganda hai, itakuwa kikiuka haki za binadamu unalipi ya kusema asante sasa kuna wacha hiyo niache ndipo na tafu kwambia msemo mmoja wa wanyankole lakini labda wacha ni wacha the the relationship with with any country must be based on equal benefits on equal relations and mutual respect we cannot have a relationship based on uh, subservience that our society is subservient to the other society that whatever they tell us, we must do, whether we agree or not. So that's their own choice, it's not ours. For us, we want to work with the West, we have been working with the West, but they cannot, uh, sorry, they cannot uh, force us to do something like this, so, which is so fundamental, fundamentally wrong. Uh, so, that's my answer to you. This man is really, really smart. Like, very, very, very clever. Like, it's only about... Um, they were bringing out science for him. He's not really, really good in science or, or about um, child delivery or those stuff. But he was clever. If you observe his statement, he was like... He made... He talked to his Western friend. He also wants to know more... He's making research before they come in for him to like know exactly what to say. What is really the cause of this? Like, what do these Westerners want from me? What do they want? They want me to sign the bill of LGBTQ homosexuality in my country because he's the president. Would that benefit my people or would that condemn them? Is it natural? Or is it so a lent behavior? So he went ahead to make research to call his Western friends. Oh, I'm sure he made some Congress meeting before this. I'm very, very, very pretty sure he had made some meeting with his Congress. So they will talk about this in particular because he wants to benefit. He wants something that's going to benefit him and his entire people. If his people love it or if his people that are into it, he knows, okay, this is what his people really want. But the fun aspect of this is the majority, majority of people who are into this, according to him, they're prostitutes. The people who do it because of money, because of the hardship of the country. And he's making really, really total sense. If you observe some cross dress dresses, because of money, that turned into cross dresses. It's not because it's who they are. It's not because of how they were born. It's something, a lens behavior is in nurture. So exactly as I said it, like I, I learned a lot from him. And he's a very, very smart man. Like you guardians, uh, you guys are lucky. I don't know if you guys love the man in your country, but I, I feel like you guys are lucky for having him as a president because he's a very clever man and he's someone who does not rush to take decisions. He's someone who thinks before, his, uh, before he acts. And he's very gentle in speaking, very slow, and you get to understand him clearly, his own point of view. You don't force a country to accept your, your rules and regulations or because everyone is doing it in your country does not mean the NSF accept it. A lot of countries are laughing at you, the Western, the Western world. Like they are actually laughing at them because they are tolerating and taking in some habits and some things that other countries find um, despiteful or not appealing. It's 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 somehow or is weird to them. So, but they just allow it to be because it's your country. You guys have your right to do what you want. And they have the right to do what they want. So it's very very sensible what you got a president saying. Like I really do love this man. The, his words like i i have everything in my head right now <laughs> like everything he said from start to end like i have it in my head and he's very 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 smart he's speaking like a lecturer like this his way of approach and way of everything he's just like a lecturer he's someone who's really educated without him knowing more about science he was able to give you thoughts about science something that you have to use your sense of reason to answer some some questions that they're trying to like tweak to you so he's really really clever and i love his response to this question that was given to him without any anger or provocation he was was smart at the answer i was really really shocked by the way he answered this question i love it i totally loved it this 
this is a really good man he's a good man you got just you got you got you got sorry pardon me uganda you guys have to keep this man you guys have to keep him and respect his uh, leadership i don't know what if he's totally a good leader this is also the first video i watched about him you can comment and blow more videos about him for me to check out well this man for my scene right now he's a smart man he's really good man he's someone who who has the benefits of the entire um country at heart so comment down below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share the video, video to as many as to come subscribe to the youtube channel guys know how to do it we'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all